Hey guys, welcome back to Lonnie's Garage. Uh, it's been a little while since the last video, but behind the scenes of the camera, I've get, been getting some things done. Um, things take time, you know, to make a little bit of progress. Uh, but as you can tell by the title of this video, what we're going to be working on, I'll go ahead and jump right into it, spin you around here, and show you what we've got. There we go. As you see, this is, it's been a while since, like I said the last video, but I've been gathering parts, been having my block at the machine shop, the heads are at the machine shop also, so is the crank. Um, we'll just jump in here and show you what we got so far. We'll start with the block. This is the LQ4 6.0 block. Uh, nothing too special. Uh, got it painted up a little bit uh, What we had done to this at the machine shop is they uh, they decked it dipped it put new cam bearings in it um, They threw a little bit of paint on it, but I went ahead and threw some other paint uh, Just to kind of shine it up a little bit They also uh, the main thing about this is they also went ahead and Bored out the block uh, It is now a 6.2. They bored it 65,000 over so this is a lq4 6.2 um so that's the work that was done to the uh the, the block there we'll jump right over here i got the crank polished uh they looked at it and they said it looked great well I just gave it a good polish uh the heads i went ahead and put new valve seals valve springs on it on both of them and had the bottom of it also uh decked you know just to Straighten up anything that may have been wrong with the bottom. They did not mill them down. They basically just decked them um, Went ahead and ordered new bearings from the, the gentleman my local machine shop and I'll tell you who that is here in a second uh, We did get uh, the main bearings the rod bearings uh, We got it all so here is Let me see There you go that's a part number for you. That's our main bearing set. There's a part number for you right there. There you go. That's made in China, but that is the top of the the main bearings there, the caps. Uh, we did go ahead and get our rings. We went some Molly rings. Let me see. I'll spin it around here to get you a part number. Here we go. These are the rings that we went with. You can look that up. Like I said, they are the Molly rings. Uh, we did get brand new pistons on it. This is the piston. As you can tell, it's a full floater piston. Um, flat top. There we go. If we get that, there we go. Flat top piston. Um, he hooked me up. We went ahead and swapped out um, my rods. These are uh, Gen 4 rods, a little bit beefier. Uh, a lot of folks recommended that I get these. Um, these are I got I got the bearings for those. Voila. <laughs> I got I don't know why I said that while ago about those, but anyhow. These are my rod bearings. These are my main bearings. Uh, I got the I got an install tool for the rings, or the ring compressor. The cam that I decided to go with is the BTR NSR Stage Two, uh, as you can see, cam. But I did go ahead and put some Beehive springs on there. Um, nothing real special. We did get some. Let me see. I should have a part number on this cam right there. Let me see. Let me fold this over. Uh, right there. You have to look at your your uh, screen sideways. But anyhow, that's the part number on the cam. They also did send me over a new bolt for the harmonic balancer. So uh, there you go. You can get a picture of that right there. I did go ahead and get some hardened push rods. 
also from Brian Tolley. Um, people over there, they know what they're talking about. They're pretty smart. Um, that's the rods right there. I told them what I was wanting to do, and they kind of helped me out. I did get the new um, lifter trays. I also, this is the part number, I believe. Let me see. I believe that's it. Uh, I did go ahead and get new lifters while I was at it. And I've had these soaking last since uh, last night. I've also got my uh, rocker soaking. Uh, it, they also send over a gasket kit with the cam. Um, so if you need a good cam, go check them people out. They're, like I said, they're real good. I love the sound of this cam. I've looked up some videos. I know a lot of people is going to be saying something about the sound of it, but yes, other people do different exhaust setups, but for what I want to go with, I'm not trying to build no race truck here, but I, I want power if I want, you know, anytime I want to have a little bit of power, I want to know that I do have it. Uh, I do plan on street driving this truck, so it will have the 4L80 behind it. Um, I'm not... I'm going to tell you now, I don't claim to be no professional engine builder. In fact, this is the very first engine <laughs> that I'm building. So, um, let's say you don't know how to do anything unless you jump in there and learn how to do something. So, that's, that's kind of what I do on this channel. So, let me get you set up on a tripod and first jump right in here. We're going to start putting a crank into this thing. Alright guys, as you can see, we've already got the bearings installed in here. I basically have a little tang right here. You just set your tang down there and then push the other side down, make sure they're all level. Now we're going to put some of this uh, Lucas assembly lube on here. This will help it because I don't plan on firing this thing up right away, so don't be scared to use some. All you gotta do is just take your finger and kind of spread it all over it. That way it's not dry when you put your crank down in here. Then we're gonna grab the crank. We're gonna set it down in here. Take your time. Just like that. It should spin over without any kind of hanging up or anything. This one's spinning just fine. Now we're gonna go ahead and start putting on our main caps here. All right guys, real quick, I'm gonna show you here real quick. This is my little process of putting the bearings in. Make sure it's real nice and clean. We'll set this down. This is the thrust bearing. This will be your middle one. You can see it's got a little tang right here. As you can see there. You can also see there's also a little indent right there for that tang to go down in. So what you're going to do is set that down in there like that. Get your hand over here on this end and push down. I just take a little rubber hammer and just barely tap. Just like that right there. 
nothing real major. Fill of it, make sure it's level. This needs to come down just a tad. There we go. Nice and level, there's no high spots. And what we're gonna do, again, take our assembly loop, put some on there. I'm gonna spread that on there with a finger here. I'll we'll spin you around here. We're gonna put that one on right here. This is the middle one. That's right here. Set right down under this pretty as can be. Take our bolts and I'm just gonna set these right here. I'm not tightening them up or nothing yet. I haven't tightened none of this up. Now I'll spin you back around here. We're gonna do one with just the regular bearing. Again, just flip it over, get the bolts out. Set that to the side. Let's clean all this up. Make sure it's clean. Take another bearing. As you can see, it's got the tang there. I'm going to set it down in here. Set it on this end first. And we're going to push this end down. Just like that. Nice and perfect. Again, take some assembly lube. Put it on there. Rub it in. Then we'll come back around here again. I'm going to put this one on. Take the bolts, stick them in. Now we'll get this last one done and we'll come back. All right guys, as you can see, these look freshly oiled on top. That's because they are. Uh, when you're putting your bolts in here, you wanna put some oil on your threads. And then on the underside of this uh, bolt head, Put you some oil there too, that way it's not, you know, metal to metal when you're putting them in. So we're just gonna do that. Um, contrary to what a lot of folks say, these uh, these bolts are are hardened bolts. They're not uh, they're not torque to yield bolts, so you can reuse them. Um, from factory GM when they torque these down they'll go so many foot pounds and then they'll go like 80 degree on your the middle cap bolts um, with these already being used um, I've read a lot of things that say that that really doesn't apply to this situation since these are used bolts um, a lot of forums uh, are suggesting anywhere from like 58 to uh, 63 roughly uh, foot-pounds of torque on your final pass on the 13 millimeter bolts so um, like I say I'm not no professional but we're gonna go with probably about I think we'll stick around 63 on our final pass. What I'll do is I'll make a pass. You you got to do these in sequence. So the front of the block, as you can see, is right here. So you're going to start with this one over here. 
it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I'm going to torque these down to a 15 foot pound first pass. And then the second pass, I'm going to torque them down in sequence one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to 35 foot pound. Then I'll go back for the third pass and I'll torque them down in sequence again to 63 foot pound. So let me get the torque wrench here and uh, we'll put you on like a time lapse. guys now on your side cap bolts here these are going to get torqued down to 18 foot pound so that's what we're going to do got five on each side so down real quick. These are just 10 millimeter bolts. Like I say five on each side. Torque it down to 18 foot pound. I've already got this set so start in the middle here. Work your way out. And that's that side. Now we'll flip it over and repeat the same thing on the other side. All right, we got them in there. Now we'll just go ahead and torque them down. go. And that would be the crank install. It is not hanging up on nothing. Spins nice. 